Fiji, the so-called Manhattan of the South Pacific. This country is made up of 322 volcanic islands, of which around 100 are inhabited. Its main islands are Viti Levu and Vanua Levu. Fiji is home to approximately 900,000 people and covers about 1.3 million square kilometers of the South Pacific Ocean. first explored some islands up north, called the Yazava Islands, Kuata Island, and islands around Malolo Lailai. Islands with beaches so beautiful, they didn't even seem real. Fiji is famous for its pristine coral reef systems, and its diversity of marine creatures. Covering less than 1% of the seabed, coral reefs support about 25% of the global marine life. The increasing water temperatures and acidity of the South Pacific Ocean have led to the demise and degradation of the pristine coral reef systems. Coral reefs aren't just important because they create habitat and shelter for marine creatures. They also protect the coastlines from heavy wave action, tropical storms, and floods. Acidification of the South Pacific Ocean doesn't just bleach and degrade the reefs. It also disrupts and impairs the sense of smell of marine creatures. The reefs beneath the surface of Fiji's crystal clear oceanscapes create these mesmerizing patterns. Fijians rely on their reefs for food security and tourism. For Fijians, reef means life. After exploring some small islands off the coast, we explored the main island, Viti Levu. These islands are packed with welcoming, wonderful and friendly people that don't have much but seem to be happy with life. It makes me think that it might feel good to step back a bit, to live life less materialistic and more simple. The Fijian culture flavors through warm encounters, food, music, festivals, customary art, and then of course, the tradition of flame dancing.
rented a car and we took an adventurous trip out into Viti Levu's jungles in order to hike the highest mountain of Fiji, Mount Tomanipi. Unfortunately, we weren't able to document the hike up as we were hit unexpectedly by a monsoon like rainstorm. Here are two images that we captured during our hike up. There were heavy rains and strong winds during the entire hike. It was only for a short period of time during our hike back down that the setting sun emerged through the heavy layers of clouds and mist. We completely underestimated the hike's intensity and came very unprepared and unequipped. Our local guide literally needed a machete in order to chop a path through Viti Levu's jungles. As a tourist, visiting and traveling through the country, it was hard to tell whether the citizens were driven by anxiety or hope, or if they even understood the impact that anthropogenic caused climate change had on Fiji. Just like other countries in the South Pacific, this country has become more and more susceptible to deadly food and waterborne diseases. Fiji is one of the smallest contributors to global carbon emissions, yet it faces some of the most devastating consequences of extreme weather patterns. Since 1993, global sea levels have been rising 0.2 inches every year, causing coastal floodings and making portions of the islands uninhabitable through intrusions of the salt water. Way back in 2014, first villages like Vuni de Golua were forced to relocate due to rising sea levels. It comes down to global warming and rising ocean temperatures, caused by the accumulation of greenhouse gases trapped in the atmosphere. This pushes water temperatures and sea levels higher, which in turn has led to devastating weather patterns and other events. Today, the three leading causes of anthropogenic climate change are oil and gas, coal, and animal agriculture. Every single one of us can help changing the climate by financially supporting these three industries less. Don't support politicians that take money from any of these three industries. Let media outlets and corporations know that they'll only have your support if they act climate neutral. 